What's up everybody? It's car chat time. Happy Sunday. I am just back in Utah from a trip um, that I've been on all weekend, regenerative ranch event, and I'm just getting back and I gotta get my long run and I gotta run eight miles a day training for a half marathon, trying to qualify for the New York marathon with a time qualifier. And here it is, one o'clock in the afternoon. I am totally sleep deprived. I fully admit I've been, you know, managing this event all weekend going to bed late, getting up early. Um, I've got a bunch of work to do. I gotta go get my kids soon and all this stuff. And so I would say right now is definitely not the perfect conditions for me to go run eight miles. I don't feel like running eight miles. I'm not like all in a good mood for it, but I'm gonna do it because it has to be done. And this is what I wanna talk about because I see this hold people back so much, not only in their, their body goals that they have, but also like, and professional goals is that it's waiting always for these perfect conditions and if the conditions aren't perfect they just bail right so new from a nutrition standpoint I cannot tell you how many times I sorry I've heard people say oh my gosh um, I you know eating has been a mess this week I got to get back to food prep meal and I'll hear people say oh I do so well when I prep my meals but then what what about the weeks you didn't prep your meals? Do you just completely fall apart because the conditions weren't perfect? That's gotta go. What about training? You don't really like feel like it or you have a really busy day and you're in this mental habit that if it's not the perfect day for training or the perfect day for eating healthy because you prepped all your food on Sunday, then it's like everything goes out the door. What about with, you know, maybe you wanna start a business or entrepreneurship. It's not a great day for that. I got a bunch of other stuff going on and actually I don't even, or maybe your, your product that you wanna bring or your program or your coaching, it's not perfect yet. It's not perfect yet, so I'm just not even gonna do it, right? And this perfectionism, this obsession with perfectionism is what completely stunts people. It will cut you at your knees and you will not be able to accomplish any of your goals if you can't get past this. I would say this, this uh, aspect of my personality, while yes, sometimes it can be a shortcoming for me too, because I can be almost a little bit too ready, fire, aim, let's go baby, let's just try it, let's just see what happens, let's just like go for the, <laughs> go for it and learn all, as we go. Sometimes I can bite me in the ass too, because I can be a little bit too much that way, but I'm telling you that habit is what has made so much success come into my life. Um, I'll tell you, you know, my friend Drew Manning, you guys might follow him. He has a really successful keto program. And I remember when I was putting out my first program, I was like, oh, I don't know, like it's not perfect. I freaking designed that sucker myself. I couldn't even afford a graphic designer yet. And he was like, Tara, just release it. Like we were on like the fourth or fifth version of our keto program. And I was like, ah, oh, okay. So this, it, conditions don't have to be perfect. Just, you know, you've probably heard the phrase done is better than perfect get it out, crank it out, let's go. I'm gonna go try to run eight miles right now. I don't even know what's gonna happen. It's 80 degrees outside, I'm kind of in between running on the treadmill, running outside, I don't know. I'm just, I'm committed to getting eight miles cranked out today. Come hell or high water, whatever that looks like, it's not gonna be my best run ever, I know that. <laughs> I'm not gonna make some sort of time, you know, record today, but I'm gonna freaking get it done. Even though I don't feel like it, even though it's like, it's one o'clock, I hate running at this time of day, I'm gonna get it done. Because if I don't, I'm gonna miss a whole weekend of my long run training, which is crucial if you're a distance runner. So I'm just sharing this like food too. Guess what? Conditions are never gonna be perfect, ever, for the rest of your life. You're never gonna go a, a, an extended amount of time where conditions are gonna be perfect for you to have your healthy food plan. And this, this idea, this delusion that we have is what holds people back. Oh, it's not a good week, I'm, I'm traveling a lot this week, or I'm, you know, I've got a bunch of family stuff, I've got a girls weekend, I got a bachelor party, whatever. That's going to happen the rest of your life all the time. So we have to learn how, how do we manage our mindset and our little habits when we are in uh, imperfect conditions. You know, I was in freaking rural Oklahoma this week. We found a group, we actually found a Whole Foods and we made an effort. It was like, please can we take your car to Whole Foods so we can get healthy snacks, right? Because that's my way of being. I'm not gonna just go eat a bunch of garbage because I'm in uh, imperfect conditions, right? 
It is. It, it is partly about how bad you want it. Totally true. Famous beard. And it's also about like what your mental patterns. Are you an excuse maker? Are you like, Oh, well, things aren't perfect. So yay. I don't even have to care anymore. Or are you the type of person that finds solutions? Be solutions focused, not problems focused. I can't tell you, I, I will admit it's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> My kids do it. Sometimes they get a break because they're kids, but you know, those people that it's like all they focus on are all the things that will go wrong or why they can't or nope, that won't work because of this. That won't work because of that. I'll tell you, those people are never leaders. I never hear anybody who is in a leadership position who's achieving high in their life that is like problems focus. Uh, we can't because they're going to be closed and the, it's just solution, 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 solutions, right? So conditions aren't going to be perfect like ever, pretty much ever. Sometimes they will be. That's cool. That's nice. But how do you manage your mind when they're not, you know? So anyway, I would say perfectionism is one of the major things that I see hold people back in their, in their body goals. And also when like their life goals that we're doing in higher, it's this, well, it's gotta be perfect. Cause I want to save face and my ego can't handle not being perfect at everything. But guess what? It's even, in my opinion, even more like embarrassing or whatever story you have attached to it. If every time conditions aren't perfect, you just completely like give up on life, <laughs> right? Like how do you manage those difficult situations? What kind of solutions do you find? So that's just all I want to share is like, that's never going to happen. If you're waiting for the right time to start your diet, which I hope that's not what it is. It's more about caring for yourself and like making self love moves. What will be good to put in my body? If I'm going to have chips, can I upgrade them, you know, to like Siate Foods or something higher quality? If I'm going to eat out, can I upgrade that to something healthier eating out, you know? So anyway, what are your mental habits when conditions aren't perfect? How do you show up for yourself? Yeah, no time is the right time. <laughs> it's funny because sometimes clients will come to me, right? And they're like, okay, well, I have a lot of travel this month and then I have like, you know, I have a wedding and I have like an anniversary and I have all these things. And then after that, I, I want to get started with you after that. And I'm like, you think there's not going to be stuff after that? <laughs> Why would you want to develop habits that require your whole life to go on hold in order to sustain them? The best time is when conditions aren't perfect, right? Like when I was really starting my business, I was in a bad spot. <laughs> like things were not, it was not con perfect conditions. Some of you have heard my story. When I started Coach Tara Garrison, when I registered Coach Tara Garrison as a registered business, that month I had $17 to my name with zero backup. I was in a bankruptcy. I had just lost my car. Everything had gone to shit. <laughs> I had no alimony, no child support, no nothing. No way to get a credit card, no family that could help me, nada. Talk about not perfect conditions. And now we have built higher in, in coach, the Coach Tara Garrison brand into a very successful brand. And that came from me telling myself, dude, if, if, I, can't, if I can't build it from here, what will I do when shit hits the fan five, six years down the road and things get hard? It's best to just learn it while it's hard. <laughs> right? Cause then I know how to get resourceful, how to build out of nothing. It's the same thing with our bodies and nutrition. Start when it's hard, start when it's not the perfect time. That doesn't mean I'm saying if you have a shit ton of life shares and inflammation, you should go work out a bunch. Cause maybe you need to decrease your inflammation. Maybe you just need to walk. All I'm saying is the habits, the habits for success. It's really good to integrate those into your life. When conditions aren't perfect, when you're in a crazy time, it is because then when those crazy times come again, you know how to handle that. And in the easy times, it's real easy, you know? So that's my thoughts on that. Don't wait for perfect conditions. What do you do when the conditions aren't perfect? Cause to me, that's how, that's how winners think true winners in life. They show up whether it's perfect conditions or not. When they know what the end result is and they're driven towards that, it doesn't matter what the conditions are. They get it done, you know? So anyway, just my thoughts on that. Yeah, strength at its finest. Hell yeah, mental mental strength, man. How do you react? Every single time it gets a little bit hard, you just bail and give up? Mm. Mm -mm. I know you're stronger than that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go run. This is gonna be freaking crazy. <laughs> I'm
I'm sure I'll post about it in my story. Okay, have a great Sunday, guys. Bye.